pounds, a very significant uh, symposium for South Africa, first of its kind in the continent. And we do know the issue of innovation is very crucial in terms of the work of the military in the peacekeeping and peacekeeping and peacemaking efforts as well. And we know South Africa is a very critical player. You look at all these missions scattered in the continent and beyond. South Africa is indeed a very indispensable ally. And joining us now is, of course, the Defence Minister, Minister Modisa. Minister, obviously you spoke about uh, the context behind the innovation in terms of the military work and peacekeeping. Given all these complexities, these threats that they are constantly facing, how significant is today's symposium, but also for South Africa as we look at the post-COVID environment? It's important, not only for us um, to host the UN for the first time, it's important because we are the largest um, um, peacekeeping country in the continent. Uh, we have a footprint everywhere. We send children of this country there. We must protect them. Now, your protection isn't since the early 20, 2000s. It's no longer just about carrying a rifle and a pack of bullets. It's also the technology. It's th 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 that makes sure that they are aware of what they need to pick up. It's um, the equipment they must carry for their own safekeeping. It is making sure that they can actually talk to their families even uh, when they are next to the battlefields. It is making sure that um, they are not cut off. It is the technology that will enable us to get uh, rid of fatigue amongst the defense people because once they get fatigued there are accidents that will happen. We need to be able to look at technology. A soldier is nothing if the morale is low. So morale is very important. Satisfied, um, I'm well equipped, I am loved, I love my country, I'm going to die for it. And that is why looking at whatever we can here, making sure that wherever they are injured, telemedication can happen, they can look, uh, they can be supported. It is also about looking at the future of the regional standby force. What do you put in? How do you coordinate efforts? Who contributes what? How much must a, what, a, a soldier who leaves home and family and country goes to die for some other people? How do you compensate? What is the role of the family in all of this? So it's important for us to look at the overall soldier and how you equip and make sure that they are effective. Minister, thank you so much indeed for your time. Of course, responsible for defense in South Africa and really just exploring a plethora of issues around peacekeeping in the continent. We do know that there's a significant number of peacekeeping missions uh, that are currently in the continent and South Africa inevitably is a very central player. So this symposium is about the improvement of some of the equipment that are used in these missions in terms of technology, among other things. Kylie Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.